Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is June 4th of 2018. It's about 5.45 p.m. here in Fort Worth. This is, uh, I've switched some things around. I'm not using my new 4K monitor. I'm using uh, the LG, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is not it. This is the first LG. I'm using the same type LG wide monitor. But I don't think this is it. But that's what I'm back using. It's the one I just uh, okay I know this isn't it because it says this is uh, this is the one I purchased in 2015 and I purchased. But anyway this is I'm not using the 4K monitor. Um I decided to hook up this microphone, which I have used in the past a little bit. And this is the box that it comes in, but you can see here, and you can see it, see it sitting here. Uh, and then I'm using this it runs into runs into this which is right underneath there and if it goes into red I know I'm talking too loud or I have the gain turned up too much uh, I've been making videos for quite a while with uh, now I played with all of these things and other microphones the Blue Yeti and others in the past and I can't remember the well first of all by the way I've, I've been wearing headphones making these videos so much that I'm a little disoriented I feel something's missing um, I've used these diff several different types of microphones and I've hooked them up you know two at a time matching microphones uh, whoops, I don't, that, oh, that's the software. I'm not using that software. Uh, and if I can't, I cannot remember in the past, which I had some problems with you all and myself, if I listened, only hearing audio coming out of one speaker. And I can't remember if it was the right or left speaker. So I hope that problem has been corrected. But I have a feeling maybe it didn't. So the question is... Also, I, this microphone, um, if I remember correctly, uh, it picks up more background noise or not no I don't want to say noise but more background and I really sort of like that but you may not so give me some feedback on that with the headset this is not the headset I've been going had had to dig through uh, oh here's the here's the headset that I've been using for several years I uh, had to dig through everything so place is a mess in order to find the different things took me a while to find the cable I have the cable I had those cables hanging in my closet over the rack there and I finally found it but um, you get a different with this I've I'm, I think I'm getting a little bit of different kind of a sound and you might let me know now of course I these are supposed to be closer to your face and I hate that I can still do do that if you don't like this setup but then I may not like it in my in my mouth all the time so I may go back to a, a different arrangement but I'm thinking that well one I'm hoping that you're getting audio on uh, left and right side and then I hope that you uh, that you do like the sound of of this microphone I think when I'm further away and with this microphone, I think I have some hearing problem, by the way, so 
I think with this microphone, when they're outside cutting the grass, or if the TV is too, I closed my door, but when the TV is too, you may hear that background noise. You may hear the air conditioning kick on or something. I, you know, I like to make, I don't make many of them anymore because I'm not feeling the in the best shape anymore. But I like walking and talking videos where I get out and, and I like other people's videos like that where you see and where you hear what's going on. But uh, did you hear just hear my ice cubes sliding down in the glass? I guess we can test this microphone a little bit. Okay, this is, whoops. Okay, now I'm overloading it. Okay, this is, okay, I have to turn it down a little bit. This is with the microphone closer. So if you say you don't like uh, the audio you were hearing, but if you do like it uh, like this, then I can uh, move this microphone in closer. I have a nice microphone stand for this. The only thing, I, if I move this thing in closer, uh, the microphone stand is going to, it's on the floor. It's going to, uh, I could put something on it. I don't have a sandbag. Amazon actually sells them. Uh, I could order one in, throw it on there so the stand doesn't fall over and the microphone doesn't fall over. When I've done this before, the only thing I've been worried about is I haven't want, don't want the microphone to smash into the uh, monitor or something like that. So, uh, This is my YouTube site, and we're up to 2,539 subscribers. And I started when, with YouTube, when they started, I was, I was waiting for them. I was around before them doing audio, video, and blogging and everything else. And it's taken me all these years, I think they started in 2005, it is 2018 and it has taken me all this time to get 2,500 subscribers. So, um, please subscribe if you're not. So, also by the way, you can see and this is about, you know, I did a video two days ago on the on the Roseanne show and some other thing. I always usually throw something else in there, which I really shouldn't. And I know a lot of you have told me uh, it'd be better to have one subject so you can search and you know and you're not going to hear, you know, maybe you don't want to hear about politics or my personal life or whatever. Or maybe you do want to hear about my life. Maybe not my personal life. But uh, you can see this video from two days ago got 55 views. Uh, a view, uh, a video I think a couple of days before that also about the Roseanne show and other subjects has gotten 62 views. And you can see, you know, across here. Um, I am not a uh, big... Uh, YouTube provider. Uh, as you can see though, uh, reviews of products, um, even a knife, a, uh, that the knife got 245. So uh, I have playlists set up. I'm not sure how much you all use a playlist. Uh, here's a a video that I made 10 years ago about the uh, clicking a beetle with the glowing. Actually, it's not its eyes that are glowing. But uh, that video is only 50 seconds long. 
I wasn't going to make it. My son, we were in Florida, and my son said, no, make a video of that. It was in our living room. And it bends its body in half and makes a loud clicking sound. But uh, we were living in an apartment complex, and the laundry mats were not, I don't think they were in that building. I think they might have been, but each, each building didn't, you had to go to over to another. And I went over at night with a load of laundry and went in and uh, was in there and I looked down and saw what I thought were glowing eyes looking at me. You know, at first I thought, a lightning bug. At first I thought, two lightning bugs. But uh, they weren't flashing. And then they were awful close together. Maybe I thought two lightning bugs having sex or something. But then I realized, no, it wasn't that. It was it was actually spooky, sort of spooky. Uh, and I did the laundry and I got out of there. And then one of them turned up in uh, the apartment and the video, uh, my son said, you should make a video of that. I said, nah. He said, go ahead. So I did and it got 90 thousand views, a 50-second video. Um, and then I made a video back three years ago on a uh, pill cutter, you know, on how to use the pill cutter for cutting your pills. And which reminds me, did I take my, I did, took the morning pills. Uh, and that got 47,000 views. But that's not typical of uh, but you can see also like uh, videos of things like cell phones and cameras, that type of stuff, it, you know, but generally my videos are sort of like video blogs, sort of talking about whatever interests me, whatever the, whatever's in the news, uh, that type of, that type of thing. And that's not, you know, I'm not smashing watermelons or uh, I was helping a local police department here uh, in a couple areas and the main area was uh, making videos for YouTube and uh, that type of stuff and uh, I did a little class with a few officers and then the officer who was in charge of the class and who recruited me or whatever, a really nice guy, he's retired now, a really nice guy. Everybody there that I had dealt with was really nice, super nice. But anyway, he was, I was uh, going to show, you know, okay, here's this, you know, here, everything, and he said, oh, let me tell the class about this lady who makes these videos that is there, she's really popular and whatever. And then he clicks on a video of a lady who smashed, I'm sure it was probably a broken one that she had, you know, she smashed an I, iPad or something like that that was supposed to be new. Then she had another video of her with a swimsuit on getting into a bathtub, filling a bathtub with milk and pouring in Rice Krispies or some type of thing and eating it with a spoon, and <laughs> and she was you know she was that's not my type of you know that's not my type of uh, video so I'm not going to get those kind of views. And when I in the past when I I did a radio program back in gosh the '60s I think that was broadcast around the world. And I put out some publications later. I had mimeographed them off and put them out. 500 issues a month and stuff like that. I never wanted uh, a large number of, I mean, I would have been happy, but what I wanted was people who were interested in the same thing that I was interested in. Uh, and that's what it's been all, all along, so. Uh, I, you know, I've decided, well, I think I knew from the beginning that 
I'm not going to be, well, of course, I never expected. A lot of people there, I think there's a lot of young people out there, some of you watching, and, you know, you think, okay, I'm going to be a, you know, maybe you're thinking, well, I don't need to go to college. Uh, I don't need a job. I'm just going to make YouTube videos, and that's going to be what I'm doing, you know. Better go to college or trade school or, you know, uh, something, you know, like that. <clears throat> My recommendation would be, you know, don't make YouTube videos to get hits. Make YouTube videos that you like about whatever your niche is, whatever you like, whatever you like to do, that would be my, but then, you know, I've seen since I started, you know, in 2005, I've, there was some people that I was their first, you know, one of their first view when they started making that, I was watching some their videos and now they're pretty, you know, they're pretty big. Uh, so I'm, not, you know, just a little advice. You don't have to follow it, and maybe I'm wrong. I've been wrong once. That's a joke. It's kind of hard for me to, because I say things, that's just my style. It has, sometimes it doesn't work out well. I say things that, uh, and then I don't tell people that it's a joke. And then when, not on YouTube, I don't think so. Oh, I make you, but... I say things that, uh, and I don't tell somebody it's a joke. And then when somebody gets angry and upset, instead of saying, oh, that was a joke, I just let them go off. And not a good idea when it's your boss that you are uh, making go ballistic or whatever. Uh, I was actually physically, I mean, I was worried about, you know, that, well, that was when I did, when I did a grievance uh, against my boss or against, it wasn't against him, but it was about a policy that he put into effect. I was worried and other people in the department were worried that he might harm himself. He was very outgoing and bubbly and all that type of stuff, but uh, for four days he came into work, went to his office and shut his door. And his office was on the sixth floor and we were actually worried that he might harm himself. So, uh, that's not a good thing. It, if you're a young whippersnapper, okay. I'm not sure what you call it. I don't call it sarcasm. I'm not sure I call it humor just something that I do for some reason, not deliberately, it just comes out that I say something like that. And then what I, and I don't say, oh, that's a joke. And then if somebody gets really upset about it, I think to myself, well, you're a fucking idiot. Uh, and I don't say, oh, I'm sorry. That was just a joke. I was just kidding. And uh, that's not a good, <laughs> That's not a good idea. So there's another little tip for you. Uh, I, physically, I've been feeling really bad. I'm feeling worse and worse all the time. I, I need, you know, if I would lose some weight, I would be, I'd feel so much better. I think a bunch of my physical conditions, but it's so hard to do. And why is it so hard to do as I drank a Coke. It's uh, Coke Zero. No sugar. I am uh, type 1 diabetes, by the way. I have type 1 diabetes in addition to a bunch of other conditions. So, I am not going to look at the news because if I do, I'm going to start talking and half of you would not want to, would not agree with me and half of you would not want to hear it and 
you know, actually the other half, people who agree with me who are liberal or something like that, I don't think they want to hear it either. I think we're all sick and tired of politics. Uh, we're hoping that things could somehow improve. Uh, I don't see it happening. But it, I think we're all, both sides really, I think, you know, why can't we all get along? I think Rodney King said, is that, did I misquote him? Uh, anyway, uh, let me know about, well, I'll find out myself probably here. I'm going to stop and I'm going to, by the way, something that I don't do, You very unusual, I when I make a video, you know, then I upload it. And I don't usually go back and, I mean, I don't even, I should actually have to sit through the thing to make sure that the, everything is, the audio is working. That the, but I, I usually, I mean, if something happens, uh, the video stops or uh, audio doesn't work or I usually hear from you, but I really should. I think every producer probably well, some of the, some YouTube people have staffs of you know, ten or fifteen people, so they can have somebody that uh, records it, edits it, you know, and uh, somebody who the person editing, I guess, would you know watch the entire thing. But what I uh, what I also should do is uh, I should actually edit the video, you know, a little bit, go in and add some subtitles to it, uh, put links. I'm lazy. I'm a lazy YouTube producer. I'm a lazy uh, video maker. Uh, but I do want you to know, I don't know why, but I do want you to know, I, I worked all my life, sometimes two jobs, and I always gave 110%. I, I did my job, and if somebody else wasn't doing their job, I just did their job, you know, did their job. So, I just want you to know that. I'm a lazy, uh, and when it comes to reading documentation and uh, reading instructions on stuff that I'm doing here, but at when I was working, I, uh, I did my job. So, anyway, thank you very much for watching, and now I'm going to watch and see if I have, hopefully, the sound situation, but hopefully there's audio coming out of both speakers. That's the thing, because I tried to fix it before, and I couldn't figure out. I remember now, a couple weeks ago, looking at something someplace, and the person was talking about that, that he or she had had problems with setups like this and with audio only coming out one side and I stopped reading or watching and I should have seen how they how they fixed it so hopefully I don't have that problem because I really don't want to mess with that problem today or tomorrow or next week or next month thank you very much for watching